let's go to another first time director, Greta Gerwig. Evelyn, how long has your relationship been with her? I'm not even sure. Five or six years. Five or six least. years. And Maybe now, eight. I, I, I read know, that time, she. Time, you know. I, I read that she had a 300 page script. Now, did she, she give you the 300 page script? She, she did not. Or she did. So when did when did you first see it? Did you, you knew she was writing this, right? Yes. Of and it course. was a story about, even though it was not biographical, it was about her hometown of Sacramento. Yes, but you know. The story of Lady Bird is the story of Greta as an auteur. So when she handed me the script, it was largely what you see on screen. Right. And she had a very, I mean, it was a beautiful, nuanced, brilliant, emotional piece of writing. Okay, and did she say to you, Evelyn, I've written this script. Will you produce this? She said, will you so produce tell me, it? So tell me, what was that like? I mean, she had never said that to you before, right? I won the lottery. Are you kidding? The yeah. script was incredible. And I felt... It was really important for her to make it. She had a very clear, very specific vision of the movie she wanted to make, and it was really important to create a situation where that would be tr protected and she would make the movie okay, she Okay, and did you, when you, okay, she, she has this wonderful conversation with you, and then you say to yourself, okay, i got to put this thing together. So did you immediately think it was, um, it had the scale to be a movie? Or did you, were you, how, how would, how, what was going, what was your, what was your thought process at that point? Yes, yes. Okay. We, knew, we knew the movie it could be. It was a question of who was gonna, going to give us the money to make it. Okay, so how, what was your next move and, then? And, and we're talking first-time director, right. neophyte producer, right. story about a high school girl in Sacramento right. and her mom and her best friend. Right. You know, this is not something that... No, I, <laughs> clearly. So, so your first call was to your, yeah, but the script is, is great. Okay, your first call was was clearly to that's the problem. You're the problem, Gary. No. no. <laughs> so your first call was to. Gary's an optimist. Uh, he used I, to be an op. Now he's a pessimist. No, no, no. <laughs> but that still counts, Gary. <laughs> so you, don't don't you. feel bad about that. We sat with Rena Ronson at UTA, and we we tried to think about who would want to make this movie. Um, and who could we, who wouldn't come in and say, oh, you've got to make script cuts for budget, or you've got to cast this star or that star, or you need to shoot it in Toronto to double for Sacramento. I mean, we, we didn't want to go through that independent film right. ringer where her vision was going to get flattened out. So we very carefully chose certain people in the marketplace we thought might get it. So did you bring script. it to Scott, or did, was Scott... I just, just Through the thought. mysterious process, I think Amy described, Scott magically got the script. Right. He threw Noah, I presume, right? No. It's not the first time. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> Scott knows all and sees all. He's, probably, he's, he's here somewhere. Okay, but yeah. so, so, so he called you and said, just talk to just, uh, just I mean, us. I mean, listen, what, what Scott and Barry Diller did was incredible because they read the script. He read the script and he said, I want to make this movie. Mm -hmm. He said, it's our town. It has to be made. Greta's going to make it, and you know I'm the person who can who can Great. make this happen for you. So, but but look, here's what you're also saying too, Evelyn, is that you've known Scott for years. You have this relationship with him. You know that Scott has produced for Noah. You know that that uh, Greta lives with yeah, Noah. Yeah, we actually you, you didn't want to go to Scott because he was Noah's producer. He ah. was the one person we said we're staying away from all things Noah. This is this is Greta's statement. Oh, okay. On her own as an artist. Great. Okay, so then, and then, so you got the money, and then the next thing you know, you were on a plane to Sacramento, and you were you were sitting on the set producing the movie. No, <laughs> no, there were a lot of there were a lot of intervening things, but I think what Scott did that is so hard. I think it's something that's like it's a hard gap for women to bridge, um, which is having someone believe that you can execute a movie and that you will deliver it. I think there's a huge unconscious bias against women, against female directors, against female-driven stories, against all of it. And what he and Barry did was really extraordinary. Great. Good for you.